Rav. And you know you want to end the year off with the bang. So we were like, cool, how do we do something crazy? How do we show the people what we're about here at Reality Check? How do we kind of just blow their minds? 4K gaming? Show. 144 hertz? Yeah. RTX 2080 Ti? Perhaps. And on that note, introducing the mother Pegasus. We wanted to make something dank, something cool. We were just like, cool, let's just blow these motherfuckers out the water. So we were like, all right, let's make a 4K 144 hertz gaming PC. How do you do that? Ingredient number one. RTX 2080 Ti from Asus, and you know it's got that ray tracing. Ingredient number two. 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM. Ingredient number three. The Asus 144 hertz 4K 27 inch gaming monitor. Ingredient number four. An i7-7700K. That, sir, uh, is how you make a 4K 144 hertz pot pie. So obviously we wanted to test out this beast of this machine, this Pegasus as we've dubbed it, with a game that's actually going to put it through the paces. So it's going to be Battlefield 5, we're going to test it with ray tracing on, ray tracing off, you know how it goes. But it's not a complete 4K 144Hz gaming experience without some awesome peripherals that we've got along with the bundle here. So we've got the Dark Core SE, we've got the K70, and we've got the Corsair Void Pros, and that's just going to make this whole experience that much smoother. If you guys want to get a little bit more of an in-depth lowdown on these products, we have done the full review on our channel go check it out but without further ado because you won't even believe the stresses we've been through to get this running origin is not our friend it's just not windows not our friend we all know this can we play some battlefield 5 please okay so let's jump right into this we're going to do the war story single player my country is calling or under no flag i think we're going to go under no flag and resume yes let's go sir let's go and let's get this started Okay, well, first things first, let's check out our settings. Options, video. Let's run 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz. See how it does with that. We've got field of view at 88. Everything's on ultra, bro. We're not here to play around. All the way up, ultra, ultra, ultra. Anti-aliasing, ultra. Anti-aliasing, HDR, on. Let's, let's uh, see what frames we're getting here quickly. Okay. Okay, 102 frames, 104 frames. That's not bad. That's pretty good. I mean, it is like one of the most current games that they are. That is not bad at all. And even with all that, all those textures in the, in the, in the background there, there's like so much in the field of view, and it's still running 90 frames a second. Like, that's not bad at all. But now the question is, if we jump it up to 4K, what are we going to be dealing with? So let's check that out. Because, ish, ish. So up the... Also, do you see how many settings there are? I mean, I've been told I'm not the biggest Battlefield player in the world, but I've been told this is what they always do. But I mean, that is just way too many options <laughs> for your screen. All right, let's, let's be tame. Let's take, uh, let's take ray tracing low for now. See where we go. The big reveal. Apply video settings. Resume. So we can notice here 60 frames a second already. That's not bad. If you put a bit of motion to it, we're going to drop down to about 58, 55. It's not bad, it's impressive. That's entirely playable. If I run around here and I just show you how that looks, you can see, even with the binocular sun, that it looks really good, and we're getting a solid 50. So some of you frames per second snobs might not be down for that, but it seems we just can't handle it. I mean, 60 frames is good, but you're never going to get 144 at 4K, mate. It's just not going to happen. Now we've got to put RTX on. We're going to put it onto Ultra. Oh, it did apply. Never mind. No, my bad. All good. It's on. Ah, okay, you see, guys, 30 frames per second. Now, that may be in this day and age is not good enough for some of us. Um, there's not really much to say. I don't know how much better we could do to try and get what we wanted. <sighs> Woo! That wasn't bad at all. Pretty damn awesome, if I do say so myself. But I think we learned something here today. We learned that cool RTX 2080 i7 7900K with 32 gigs of RAM, it can do ray tracing 144 hertz at 1080p. We just aren't ready for that 4K 144 hertz experience yet. The technology just hasn't caught up with what we're capable of doing 
graphically speaking. But that doesn't mean that the RTX 2080 Ti is worthless. You can still kick out some awesome frames per second, maybe even 4K on old games. Something like GTA 5 would probably do it if you're still into Battlefield 4. I'm sure it would be pretty dank as well. You just need to give a miss on that 4K 144Hz monitor, I think, personally. But that's no disregarding this entire setup, the peripherals, everything. Huge shout out to Eve Tech. Huge shout out to Asus for sorting us out with these components to make this awesome Pegasus build. It's all available for purchase on eTech's website. You know you can get the hookup over there. And that's pretty much it, guys. Let us know in the comment section below if you want us to test some other games on this puppy, if you want to see GTA 5, maybe Tomb Raider, anything. We're going to put the Pegasus through its paces, but we wanted to kick this year off with a bang. Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this installment of Reality Check. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about the Pegasus, because he dank. You know he dank. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time for another installment of Reality Check. Peace.